I know this particular subject doesn't pertain to the paranormal directly, but I think the topic itself does relate to the channel. Uh, most of you have probably already heard of the Antikythera Mechanism. It's been on a few TV shows. Uh, Nova had a special on it on PBS. Uh, I know it's been on uh, the History Channel's Ancient Aliens, and it's been featured on National Geographic's uh, Naked Science, I think was the name of the show. The Antikythera Mechanism is an artifact discovered um, accidentally by sponge divers who came across a shipwreck uh, off the coast of the island which the device is named after, Antikythera. It was in 1900, the year 1900, exactly, um, in the month of October, I think. They discovered numerous other Greek artifacts and they were all hauled back to the National Archaeological Museum in Athens, Greece. And it wasn't until a long time, well a good time later, that they really discovered the corroded looking lump was actually more than they originally thought it was. What they discovered was that the mechanism itself uh, appeared to be the remains, uh, what they discovered was the remains of an astronomical clock, uh, a clock used for predicting astronomical events. Things like eclipses, for example. Now, what's important about it isn't exactly what it did, but when it did it. The estimated creation date of the device is somewhere around 100 BC, which predates all comparable technology by more than a thousand years. If that still doesn't sound amazing to you, think of it in terms of archaeology and, and world history. To me, it says that the discoveries left to be made out there aren't just pieces of clay art or uh, an undiscovered wine cellar. They're discoveries that could completely rewrite history. Not to downplay clay art. Some of the questions the Antikythera mechanism makes pop in, in a person's head. Where did all the prototypes go as a person built up to this level of sophistication? And where are all the duplicates ordered by royalty, uh, upper class? Why did such a masterpiece of its time seem so disregarded compared to technology at the time it should have been talked about? Another question is, how did the technology stay so isolated? Typically when there's a major discovery like that by a top tier civilization, the technology tends to spread. Other people learn it, they spread it with their people, they share it with their people, you know, how you have a cousin who knows a guy who has a brother who met George Clooney. I want to link an article from the scientific journal Nature, uh, and the article's by Joe Marchant, and that'll be right here. You can go ahead and click that now. You can read it yourself, but I want to quote a small part of it here. No earlier geared mechanism of any sort has ever been found. Nothing close to its technological sophistication appears again for well over a millennium when astronomical clocks appear in medieval Europe. It stands as a strange exception stripped of context of ancestry of descendants. Considering how remarkable it is, the Antikythera mechanism has received comparatively scant attention from archaeologists or historians of science and technology and is largely unappreciated in the wider world. The news teacher goes on to answer some of the questions that the Antikythera mechanism brings to mind. Uh, I think it was really interesting. I think you should read it too. Go read it. In closing, what I'm going for here is trying to share something that inspires a sense of curiosity in me, and I hope it inspires all of you to, to keep asking questions as well. Uh, because nobody really knows everything, but obviously we can learn things a lot faster if we all work together. 